A warm welcome uh, to Dr. Markus Schiefer. He's the founder, executive director, chief technical engineer uh, of uh, a company named uh, Schemo, Elektrische Hochleistungsantriebe GmbH. And we're looking forward to the presentation and afterwards uh, um, we can discuss some things more in detail uh, in uh, the panel discussion. So, Dr. Schiefer, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Fischer, for your kind introduction. As I said, my name is Markus Schiefer. Um, together with two colleagues, we founded SIMO in 2017 after we finished our PhD studies at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. SIMO is designing, manufacturing and testing electric drives, mainly inverters and motors. Um, but today I want to concentrate on the motors and especially the winding technology which makes those motors so, so powerful. For, all, um, for everybody who is not so familiar with um, electric motors, I want to show the basic principle of motor first, um, so that you see what we are talking about if you're not so, so much into electric motors. So this is a random view, a section view of an electric motor. So it has nothing special to do with the winding technology I want to talk about uh, later on. It's just to show the basic principle. We have a rotor, and for the electric motor, this is the only rotating part, part and if you are um, talking about the most popular machine types for traction applications, which is, which is the permanent magnet synchronous machines. We also have some, some magnets mounted on that, on that rotor. And surrounding that rotor, we have the stator, which is non-rotating. Non and the stator is made of electric steel laminations. And in those laminations, there are some slots. And in those slots, there are insulated copper wires, um, which then form the winding. When we then excite those wires uh, co correctly, um, then with an, with an alternating current, then we are getting a torque or force generated on the rotor, which is then, then rotating. We also need some other parts in that motor, but what I want to highlight is that the basic principle of an electric motor is relatively simple. The, old, the whole construction is relatively simple. And when we are thinking about e-mobility, that's probably the reason why um, everybody is talking about, ba about batteries, about charging, about other things, but not so much about the motor. But if you want to make that motor more powerful, more efficient, and less, um, you know, and at lower costs, um, or if you want to make them for suitable for high speeds or for really low speeds, for, for direct drives, then the things becomes really complex. It's so tricky because the electric motor, or all electric motor manufacturers have the te same technologies, the similar winding technologies that are well known. And uh, everybody is using copper as electric conductor. Everybody is using steel uh, for flux guidance. So it's not so easy to make a difference. So the, the question that I came up with is, what, what, do I, what can we do better? How can we significantly improve that electric motor? And Simo developed a unique uh, patent pending winding technology that significantly increases power density significantly increases efficiency. And as we are using the same materials that all other series motor manufacturers are using, um, we can significantly reduce the amount of material and therefore we can also reduce the material costs uh, themselves. With these motors, um, the car racing um, team, of the former student team of the Cultural Institute of Technology, became world champion in 2016. With these motors, uh, we set a new world record for ground vehicles in the SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition. Elon Musk was, was slightly pissed off after that uh, because he wanted to, to re-break that record again and uh, his Tesla-based pod uh, caught fire uh, on that, that attempt. In the year 2015, the company Siemens announced that they had set a new record for electric machines and, and that they achieved 5.2 kilowatts um, per kilogram continuous power density. We are achieving 10 kilowatts per kilogram uh, continuous power density, which is almost twice of that. Um, but we are only using uh, cheap standard materials for that. In the U year 2020, we were uh, awarded by the European Commission with the seal of excellence. So what, what are we doing different to, to make those motors so powerful? 
We are not using round wires like, like the other electric machines in the last like, 100 years did. And we are not using solid conductors like the, at the moment very popular hairpin winding is using. We are using really thin flat wires. And with these flat wires, we can achieve high filling factors. We, can, we get an excellent heat transfer from the winding. Um, and we achieve really low frequency dependent losses. But we need a totally new winding process. And if we compare that to a standard automotive OEM uh, traction motor, uh, we see that we can achieve 50% um, higher, power, dense, uh, higher power at a quarter of the weight and at the same efficiencies. And uh, this is a real motor type, which is really tested on a test bench. And just have a look at the weight comparison, the 50 kilos come to the 30 kilograms, and you will get an idea of how many material costs you can save with that. So, but the question is, can we produce this um, yeah, economically? And the answer to that question at the moment is no, not yet. So at the moment, we are still manufacturing those motors and semi-automatic winding machines. But we have a demonstrator of a fully automatic winding ma machine um, that already showed that the, that the whole winding process can be fully automized. And at the moment, we are working really hard on getting the first series motors done on that or wind it on that fully automatic machine. Because as I said, the materials costs can be significantly lower. This winding process is, is the key to, to get, uh, to, to be the state of the art also for costs. So we, we uh, think that we get really competitive in compared to the state of the art with that process. But this was about costs. There are a lot of applications where you really need high power density. Um, for example, in sports cars, uh, especially in electric flight. Um, and this is just um, yeah, like a, uh, some, some motor, motors that could, uh, should show you what, uh, what we can achieve with that, te te that technology. So we can uh, achieve, as I said, 10 kilowatts per kilogram continuous output power with standard materials. We also did a study for larger electric aircrafts um, where we could show that we can achieve 6,000 Newton meters at 1.2 megawatts continuous with a motor weight of 200 kilogram as a direct drive. This might, might seem to be a really unique application, but the technology itself is, is really um, suited for direct drives. So um, it's also suited for uh, commercial vehicles, for heavy duty applications and for, for railroad applications and other things that really um, rely on direct drives. If you're looking for high efficiencies, we can achieve efficiencies up to 98%. If you, you look at um, high-speed generators for energy, um, at spindle drives, um, yeah, or flywheels, or other applications where you, you need really high powers at high speeds, um, we are building a motor at the moment with 200 kilowatts continuous power at 30,000 RPMs. And uh, we can also build a motor with 70 kilowatts at uh, 70,000 RPMs just to give you some ideas. This is the management board. Uh, all are uh, all with deep knowledge and uh, university background in their field. And um, if you need a motor um, for your application where, where, where no motor is available on the market, um, just contact us. I think we have an interesting solution for you. Um, if you are a company with expertise in production and going to market and you, are, you want to precip precip precipitate in, that electric, uh, in the new, new electric markets and the, 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 yeah, the chances that they, they offer, um, we, we are open for partnerships. If you are an investor and you are looking for, for new green technologies um, that really make a difference, um, with your, together with you, we can uh, scale this up even faster. Thank you for your attention.